our September memory verse is from Colossians 1 verse 13 through 14. Are you guys ready to march? All stand up and then we're gonna march with the holding the Bible. Here we go. I think I'm in the right place. Is this right? Oh, gummy worms. Oh, so good. <laughs> what? You want some too? Okay, you can have you can have one. I'll give you one. Oh, don't don't eat them all. Don't eat them all. Oh, 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 oh. More gummy worms? Wow. I'm gonna hide this so I can eat it all for myself. <laughs> so excited. Yay! La, 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 la. Happy Sunday. Happy Sabbath day. Hello, Kingdom Kids. Good to see you all. What? A stranger here? Hmm, I think I heard someone talking, but it can't be. What? Really? Let me see. Ooh. Kingdom kids, there is a stranger. <gasps> you want to go check with me? I'm scared. 
Hey. Oh, 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 oh. So scary, so scary. You scary oh, oh, too. Hh,、hey, oh, oh. who are you and sneak into our Kingdom Kids worship room? What are you doing here? Oh, oh. oh we're what, what calm down, calm down, calm, calm down, calm down. We're safe. We're not here to hurt you.、Ooh. We're safe. I promise. I promise. He promised too. Woo, woo, chicken, chicken. Hold on. Um, the chicken looks familiar. It's my chicken. You look familiar. Do I know you? You look familiar too. I think I know her. I think I know him too, Kingdom Kids. You, you, you are. Ah,、uh, she's. You are the Bible, Bible Queen. What? Hey, wow. Bible wow. Queen. Why are you here? Long time no see. Yeah, I came here because I heard that Kingdom Kids. Want to learn more about God? So I'm here to help you get closer to God's word. <gasps> That is so nice. It's so good to see you.、Yeah. Wait, I think we had a song. Didn't we have a song that we sang together? Yes. How can I not forget the song? Yes. You wanna sing together? Of course. Let's <gasps> sing it together. Yes, Kingdom Kids. You wanna hear the song that we used to sing? Yay! The queen, the queen, the queen, I am the Bible queen. S R C C Kingdom Kids, S R C C Kingdom Kids, S R C C Kingdom Kids. We are the Bible kings and queens. Love that song.、This. Kingdom kids, we can all become like Bible king and Bible queen if we all read the Bible every day. Yes, Kingdom kids, did you hear that? Yes, thank you, Bible king. That really helps. Oh,、uh, by the way, what were you guys doing in the bag earlier with that? Hello, what what's her name? Your pet chicken? Chiquita. Chiquita. Hi, Chiquita. Does she talk? <laughs> oh, yes, she talks. Shh. I don't, think don't she's tell, still、tell. chewing something in her mouth. Ah, what did what were you guys eating? Shh! Don't don't tell, don't tell. Hey, Kingdom Kids, should I tell her about the extra bag of gummy worms? I want to eat all of those by myself, but <laughs> shh. But maybe I'll just give her a little bit, just this bag. Yeah, I'll just give her this bag. Yeah. You can have this bag of gummy worms. I was eating them earlier. Oh, really? Yeah,、But、yeah. The whole thing? Yeah, it's a lot. So I'm gonna give it to you. I love gummy worms, but if you give me everything, you you're not gonna have any left over. Is that okay? Hmm, yummy. I think she, she doesn't like me or something. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? Why do you say sorry? You just gave me the all you have. You don't need to say sorry. I actually hid a whole other bag back there. What? Really? That's, that's what I, you were doing. That's why I gave you that little portion. But I feel so good after sharing a little bit. Aww, it's okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Anyways, thank you. And you know what though? This is kind of similar to the story that we're gonna talk about today. <gasps> oh, I think. Hello, Kingdom Kids. Hello, Green Tea. Oh, oh, hello, you Chicken Man King. Chicken Man, I'm Bible King. Oh, and this is Chiquita. <laughs> The Bible King. Oh, really? Nice to meet you. I'm Green Tea, the Scripture Bunny. It's nice to meet you too,、uh, Green Green Friend. <laughs> he is our scripture body Bible King, so he reads the Bible verse for us every day. <laughs> All right. So with the green tea, what do we do? Is 
We always take a quiz. Do you want, you guys want to take a quiz? Wow, a quiz? I love quizzes and challenges. <laughs> yes, so every Sunday, we have a Bible quiz time. This is the Bible quiz time. Kingdom Kids, are you guys ready? Raise your hand if you're ready. <gasps> Woo, let's see. Oh, I think Chikira is ready too. Gritty, are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, yes. Listen carefully and tell me the answer. Last week, we talked about Jesus' transfiguration. Can we do it all together? Ready? Oh. Transfiguration. Good job. So, Jesus and his three disciples went to the Mount Olives. And while Jesus was praying, what did the disciples do? They <laughs> fell asleep, right? And when they woke up, they saw Jesus was talking to people, Moses and Elijah. <gasps> I hope you guys all remember that story. Mm -hmm. And after that, what, what happened was they heard God's voice from this. That's the question. Number one, cloud. Ooh. Number two, Sun, Mr. Sun, mm -hmm. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Number three, Rainbow. Oh. Okay, I'll give you guys five seconds to decide. So, Rainbow is one of the signs of God. The sun looks really cool. Chikita, what do you think? Okay, I think it's that too. Okay, time's up. If you guys have decided, yeah. raise your hand. Okay, on the count of three, you guys shout out. The answer, okay? One, two, three. One, 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 this is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased with. Listen to him. Oh, yes, God clearly told the disciples who really Jesus was. Good job. Yeah. Chikira, you too. Ooh, I'm still scared of the chicken. Good job, Green Tea, my boy. Thank good job, you. good job. Wow. Kingdom Kids, let's say goodbye to Bible King today. Thank you for joining us. Bible King, and we'll see him next week. Okay? Bye, Bible Bye, King. Bye. Wow, Bible I love King. today. I'll see you guys next week, Kingdom Kids. Bye, Bible Queen. Bye, Bye. Green Friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Kingdom Kids, Green Tea. Oh. You guys ready to check out today's Bible item? Yep. Yes, let's see. What's inside the Bible box? Bible box, Bible box. What's inside the Bible box? Bible, Bible story box. box. One, two, three. Yeah. Ta-da! What is it? What is it, Green Tea? Oh, oh, uh, is it treasure box? Yes, today's Bible item is a treasure box. Green Tea, oh. what do you treasure the most? Oh, what I treasure the most? Mm -hmm. I like my sunglasses. Oh, your sunglasses, I love it too. And I treasure my family. Your family, oh, that is so precious. Kingdom Kids, we all have things we treasure on the earth. But in the Bible, Jesus taught the truth of the kingdom, God's kingdom, and also Jesus taught that the kingdom of heaven is so valuable, just like treasures. Everyone loves treasures. Green Tea, can you tell us what today's Bible verse is? Of course. Today's Bible verse is Matthew 13, 44. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a fair. Amen. Thank you, Kingdom Kids. Are we ready for the Bible trip today? Yeah! Yay! Here we go! One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Just like our Kingdom Kids are ready to listen to the Word of God, many people came and stood on the shore to hear Him teach. So Jesus got into a boat and sat down. 
Jesus told them parables. A parable is a story that Jesus told people to understand, to teach them about God's kingdom. Because for some people, it was really hard to understand what he said. And Jesus taught them about kingdom of heaven through these parables. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest seed, but it grows taller than the garden plants. The seed becomes a tree and the birds build nests in its branches. Jesus told a parable to show that the kingdom of God will grow slowly like a seed grows into a plant and the fully grown plant stands for the kingdom of God fully present in the world. And Jesus also taught that God's kingdom is like a treasure buried in a field. A man found the treasure. Whoa, treasure, treasure, I want the treasure. He buried it again and he would go and sell everything he had in order to buy the field where he buried the treasure so that he would own the treasure. Jesus also got people thinking by saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for beautiful pearls. When he found and he discovered pearl of great value, he sold everything he owned and bought the pearl. Through these parables, Jesus was trying to teach that God's kingdom is growing in the world. His kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. Kingdom Kids, what do you treasure the most? It could be your favorite toy or your pet. When something is extra special, you're willing to sacrifice something else to get it. You might give up playing with your toys in order to get a new toy because you get something of greater value. And in today's Bible story, Jesus taught about the great value of God's kingdom through the parables, the stories that Jesus used to help people understand the kingdom of God. Hello, I am Appleseed. I am going to be a tree with really beautiful crisp red apples. Every tree will be jealous of me. Oh my my, what are you? Are you a baby seed or something? What are you going to be? I can't even see you because you are too small. Are you a dot or a dust or something? Uh, I'm a mustard seed. What? Mustache seed? <laughs> you become a mustache? Yeah. No, 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 mustard. I will be a tree too when I grow up. <laughs> Hey, you're just a dot. Can you even grow? I think you will disappear, okay? Well, see. Good luck, baby seed. A farmer planted the seeds, watered them, and took care of the seeds. And the seeds, they get lots of sunlight and good soil. They grow and grow and grow. And then... What? What? <laughs> Who are you? Are you the mustache of... No. Mustard seed? Yes, it's me. It doesn't matter how small you are. You never know how much you're going to grow. <laughs> I am sorry that I look down on you. Do you guys know how small the mustard seed is? This is how small the mustard seed is. Isn't it amazing? This little tiny seed, it grows and it becomes like a big tree. Back in Jesus' days, 
the mustard seed was the smallest seed planted in the region. Yet, when it grows, it grows taller than the garden trees. It grows as a big tree-like bush with branches for birds to nest in. Jesus was teaching that although God's kingdom started small like the mustard seed with Jesus and a few disciples, it grows and it spreads. Even now, the kingdom of God is still growing in the world. This kingdom is valuable and worth giving up everything for. Then in the parables of the hidden treasure and the priceless pearl, Jesus also taught the value of God's kingdom. A merchant, he found a priceless pearl and he sold all he had to buy the pearl. Jesus taught that the kingdom of heaven is so valuable, so it's worth giving up everything in order to have it. And the man who found treasure buried in a field, he sold everything he had so that he could buy the field and the treasure would belong to him. Who's that sound like? Yes, Jesus gave up everything, even his life in order to have us so that we would belong to him. I don't know if we are worth his life, but Jesus treasures us as a precious jewel and he paid his life just for us. Nothing is greater or worth to us than Jesus. When we belong to him, we become part of his family, meaning we have our future home awaits in heaven. Heaven is like a treasure or a priceless pearl that someone would give up everything else to get. And we all learn that Jesus will come back one day. And while we wait for Jesus to come back and set up his kingdom for us, we have to carry out our mission. You know what it is? We obey him and tell others about Jesus who rescues sinners. Amen? Let's pray. Repeat after me. Dear God, you are the treasure of greatest value. Help us to understand what is the most important thing in our lives. Help us seek your kingdom first the treasure you have provided us. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Craft time, craft time, everybody craft time, craft time, craft time. Now is a craft time. Hello, Kingdom Kids. So today we learned about that our kingdom of heaven is like a treasure. So what is treasure? Treasure is something that you really, really, really like, right? So today we're going to learn about making a craft that is a shell. So shell has a pearl inside. So pearl, what is pearl? Not every shell has a pearl. So that's why it's very precious. So here is the plate that we're going to cut it later. We have marker. We have the brown paper that's going to be like a sand. Then we have a little glue tape and scissors. So when we're using scissors later, we're going to make sure that you're going to ask your parents or your siblings, older siblings, to help you out with it. Okay? If you're a young kids, please do not use scissors. It's dangerous. Okay, so we're going to cut the plates, the shell shape. Now, if you fold it, it becomes a shell, like this. Then, we're going to cut with brown paper to shape 
that it's gonna be like the sand inside the shell. And we're gonna put it on like this later. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna color the shell inside the shell with your favorite color. I like blue. I also like green and pink. So I'm gonna decorate it here. Okay, I'm done with the pink color. I'm gonna move on to green color now. Green color. Ta-da! I'm done coloring this side and I'm gonna glue this brown paper on here. I have a little glue tape here but you can use your any glue that you have it at home. Glue on it and you put it on so when the shell it opens up it looks like this. And I'm going to use a little pom-pom. I have different colors. You can use any color that you want. Or you can use anything that's shiny. And you can put it on the shell itself. To represent that it is a pearl. So, put it on. Ta-da! So when you open it up, you have a pearl inside. Pearl, it's the treasure that we have in heaven. The heaven is our treasure. All right, guys, I am done here. Can you guys see it? It's a shell, the pearl. We said it's a precious thing and the heaven is like a treasure and the pearl represents a treasure. And don't forget our mission. We're going to tell about Jesus until Jesus comes back. So we tell about everybody about Jesus. Craft time, craft time, everybody craft time, craft time, craft time. We finish craft time. The ghost is clear. Wow, look at all these prizes. I know, right? Look at this one, and this one, and this one. I want everything. I know, right? Yay! Yeah. But, Kingdom Kids, how are we going to get all these prizes? Hmm. Hmm. Hello, little spy. What are you guys doing here? Sarah. Kingdom Kids, hello. Hey, guys. You guys want to know how to get the prize? Yes, please, please. Yes. Tell us. Kingdom Kids, yes. you guys want to find out how, how do you get the prizes? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Then, follow us. Follow yeah. me, follow me. Let's go. In order to get a prize, you have to complete three Bible missions each week and collect 20 stamps. Bible mission number one. On Sunday, watch our e-children worship video on time and send me the photos of the true worshipers and you will earn the stamp. Mission accomplished. Bible mission number two. Watch the short sermon recap video that Chanto Sanyu will send to your parents during the weekdays and find a hidden mission in the video. And you earn the stamp. Mission accomplished. Bible mission number three, a mission from your teachers. 
Hello, Kingdom Hero. This is Hemin Teacher. Last Sunday, we uh, we learned about Jesus' transfiguration. When he was praying, uh, the appearance of his face changed white, and his clothes changed as bright as uh, lightning. So, my today's mission is to capture brightening Jesus. Happy birthday! We're gonna celebrate Kingdom Kids who have birthday in September. From KDC Toddler, Landon Jung, from E Kindergarten, Arthur Im, Legend Kim, Zion Kim, Ethan Williams, Aiden Yee. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Blow candle. <gasps> happy birthday. All right, Kingdom Kids, let's all close our eyes and then we're going to end today's service with the benediction. Dear God, and thank you for letting us saying that thank you in time like this. But even when the circumstances are around us are difficult and when our faith become weak and the world changes so quickly, so we are afraid about. Lord, but there is nothing there is one thing that does not change. It. God is with us. So let, let us make this confession every day and let us walk day by day with the faith. Lord, just bless Southern Community Church's students and be with us with your almighty hands. And give us the wisdom and encourage us to spend time this new semester and with your grace. Lord, we worship you, we follow you, we love you, we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of our Father God and fellowship of Holy Spirit be with you.
forevermore. Amen.